Here's more of the celebration. Tears of joy for Tina Pow Pow getting hugs with her family on the court in Cleveland just after the ball game. Gamecocks celebrating the victory on the court in Cleveland. Upstate fans pulling for USC as well. And Taylor Farmer has the reaction. Basketball fans showed up in abundance to watch a highly anticipated matchup. One some fans tell us they've been waiting on all season. Revenge game. Revenge game. <laughs> South Carolina tipped off against Iowa for the 2024 Women's Basketball National Championship, and many came out to watch. It's a storybook game. People showed up early today. Now we're excited to have a lot of people here for sure. Go Cox! Most cheered on the home team. Others hoping Caitlin Clark could lead her team to its first national title. We moved to Greenville five years ago. Iowa people. It's fantastic women's sports and what's going on with women's basketball. Two best teams in the country. What else can we ask for? The two teams faced off in the biggest game of the year after the Hawkeyes upset the Gamecocks 77 to 73 last year. You, let's go, South Carolina. Let's go. Untouched. Nobody's yeah. seeing us. Come on. Let's go. Hey, no. Revenge tour is complete. Let's As go. the game went on, let's fans go, cheered on their favorite team. That's how I feel. While enjoying food, drinks, and nice weather. It was a hard fought game, but South Carolina came out on top with a fairy tale ending. Completing a perfect season, beating the Hawkeyes 87 to 75. Undefeated season, 38 no. That's what we want. That's exactly what we wanted. 38 no. Nobody else in the country did that. We're national champions, baby. South Carolina, let's go, baby. Love you, Don Staley. Many fans praise the leadership of head coach Don Staley and tell us women's basketball has made an impact all over the country this year greater than ever before. I'm so proud of our Lady Gamecocks and I think that they've really changed basketball for women forever and I'm so proud of that. In Greenville, Taylor Farmer, 7 News.